junk it's a Kodiak blows it sounds like it's in the jet coming in nasty hey Josh Comes Josh, check out my find. I couldn't find the crab, but I found the pots. Nice. There's another one up over there. Oh, really? Somebody must have had gear in here and that storm must have blew it out. And that was a whopper of a storm that came through. Oh, man. That was a good storm. 40, 50 mile an hour gusts, maybe even up to 60. Yep, a lot of rain. Wind. Pretty good surf coming in here. As we waited with our gear on the beach, a thought of panic hit us. As the weather was getting worse, we thought maybe the plane wouldn't be able to pick us up. And although we were sad that Josh wasn't able to get his bear, we were ready to get out of there after staying five days in the tent with no hunting, only to get out and hunt one full day and a little portion of another. As we flew over our campsite, I couldn't help but feel a deep sense of loss for coming to Kodiak and not being able to get our bear. However, I felt a deep sense of relief from not having to spend the next few nights in that damp tent that we had been staying in. The scenery around Kodiak is absolutely breathtaking. I loved every minute of being out in the nice day that we had and hunting around in that. I'll definitely come back in, in the years to come.
Shows you how small Alaska is. This is my buddy Matt from college. He's out going out on a hunt as we're coming back in. That's so right. pretty awesome. Here. Good luck on your deer hunt, man. Thanks, Jake. See you later. Yeah, we'll see ya.